Uncover the clean, understanding, bleach the stains. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's not only common in everyday conversation but also carries significant weight in the English language. We're talking about, bleach the stains. Whether you're a language learner trying to navigate the intricate details of English or just curious about phrases you hear daily, you're in the right place. Let's unravel the layers behind this phrase and understand its usage and implications. Bleach the stains is a phrase composed of two key components, bleach and stains. To understand the phrase fully, it's crucial to dissect its parts. Bleach is both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it refers to a strong chemical used to remove color from things, or to make things white. As a verb, it means to use this substance to clean or to remove color. It's a powerful cleaning agent known for its effectiveness in making things look new by removing colors or stains. Stains, on the other hand, are marks left on something, usually something undesirable and difficult to remove. Stains can be from anything, wine on a white shirt, ink on your hands, or mud on your shoes. When combined, bleach the stains literally means using bleach to remove stains from something, aiming to restore it to its original, cleaner state. It's a phrase often used in the context of cleaning clothes, but it can extend metaphorically to other areas of life and language. Literal use. In its most direct sense, bleach the stains refers to the act of removing stains from materials, typically fabric, using bleach. This process is a common household chore, symbolizing a fresh start or renewal by making old or stained items look new again. Metaphorical use. Metaphorically, the phrase can be used to describe efforts to remove or rectify flaws, mistakes, or undesirable elements in non-physical contexts. For example, it can refer to correcting mistakes in one's work, clearing up misunderstandings in relationships, or addressing and amending problematic aspects of personal behavior. It conveys a sense of purification, improvement, or rectification. Understanding when and how to use the phrase, bleach the stains, can enrich your English communication, especially in nuanced conversations. Here are some tips. Use it literally when discussing cleaning or removing stains with a strong cleaner. It's perfect for conversations about household chores or laundry tips. Apply it metaphorically to express the concept of making amends, improving situations, or correcting errors. It's powerful in discussions about personal growth, conflict resolution, and even professional development. Be mindful of the context. The metaphorical use is more abstract and can be very expressive in appropriate situations, but it requires a clear understanding of the conversation's tone and direction. Thank you for joining us to explore the phrase, bleach the stains. We hope this video has illuminated not just the literal meaning but also the deeper, metaphorical layers of this common English expression. Whether you're using it in a conversation about laundry or as a metaphor for personal improvement, remember the power of language to express and transform. Happy learning, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.